Good, beautiful morning, everybody. Silas back again today, and it is beautiful out here. It's a little bit chilly, but it's warming up fast. Gonna be a fantastic day. I'm here at the yard, and it is finally time to crush some cars. I know the camera may look a little bit different, and I've been using this camera more lately. I just bought this camera like a month ago or so, but it's a GoPro Hero 11. I really like it. It's a lot better than my old 9 I used to have. And it's so handy just because it's so small, easy to grab, way better. Uh, well, I shouldn't say better, but it's way easier to use than my other cameras. And so I've just been really enjoying using it lately. So I guess here we are. I really don't have a whole lot to say right now, so I'm just gonna get to work. I was gonna throw this old safe in the box and I thought, you know what? 
I'm going to go see if that thing will crush. And I don't have time to crush it right now. I've got to take care of a few other things. But this afternoon, at some point in time, we're going to crush that and see what happens. They didn't used to buy these, but here lately they've been buying them. The small ones like this anyway. The real heavy ones that have the real super, super thick concrete walls, they won't buy those still. But the small ones like this, they haven't said anything lately to me or other people that have shipped them in. So I'm going to go ahead and smash it and ship it in. But first things first, I've got to run out to my place. I've got to load up a 1940 or 41 Chevy, I forget what year it is, on my trailer. And I've got to deliver it to a guy. I'll take a double fish fillet sandwich and I'll make that a combo. About once a month I come here and get a double fish fillet sandwich. I guess it's one of my bad habits. But it's only once a month, so not that bad. Real quick, check this out. Watch this. Pretty cool, huh? I am looking forward to using that. Just gotta kinda route the wires a little bit different so they don't snag anything and get the lights working, good to go. There we go, I figured since I've already got the trailer, I wasn't far from the yard, I'd come by here, grab a couple pieces that I didn't want to crush, that way I can take them out to my place and get them out of the way, because I'm really trying to get this cleaned up in here to where I have room to operate. I'd love to get these truck beds that I use for tires, put up there closer to the fence, get rid of all this, I'll get rid of all that so I can stack bundles over there. My GoPro battery died before I loaded this, but this is a real cool bed. It's got these levers on the side, you pull those and the sides fold down, you can fold the back down, you can just do one side, you can do both sides, whatever you want to do. You can fold all three sides down, really cool flatbed. The only issue with it is, is that it's really wide. This is on a one ton truck and everybody that's come to look at it said it's just too wide for them. They're looking for something a little bit narrower for a three quarter ton. Somebody will buy it eventually, so I'm going to go ahead and save it. And then the Chevy cab, or I guess this was a GMC. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. I sold the grill out of it, I sold the hood off of it, and I was just gonna go ahead and junk it, but I got to thinking, you know what? I really like this orange and white on it. Even though the grill's already gone, I got really good money out of that grill and hood, so, I mean, more than I would've got out of it for a wall hanger, but what's left of it, I think I can still cut it and take all of that stuff off the top, that is all in bolts, and then I can take something else and put in there, 
and still have a good wall hanger. It won't be a real high dollar wall hanger, but if I trim it up nice and neat and I find something interesting to slap in the middle of it, I think I can still get, you know, two, three hundred bucks out of it. And then also it does have really good color on the doors. I don't know if anybody would buy those or not. And then of course the back of the cab is pretty cool as well. I think I can sell that. It's got some damage up at the top and then it's got a bunch of dash parts in it. So, uh, and those are GMC only. So I don't know, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff left on it. I didn't want to just crush it. So I figured I'll just throw it on my trailer. And then at the end of the day, I'll run it out to my place and leave it out there out of the way. Now the moment has finally come. We're gonna grab this up, we're gonna stick it in the crusher, and we're gonna see what happens. She's crunchy all right. That's all the lower the crusher goes. It doesn't go any lower than that. So what I'm gonna do now is try to get this out of here and maybe I'll put a car in here and I'll crush this on top of the car. There we go, got all that stuff unloaded. Uh, tomorrow, before I left today, actually, I should say this first, I set a load of cars out, so first thing in the morning, I've got a load, a load of crushed cars. I'll probably take my GoPro, put that on a time lapse, and I'll put that at the end of this video. So if you're into that, you can stick around and watch that. I was pretty impressed with that safe. That wasn't one of the real thick safes that I thought it might be. It was pretty heavy, but it, it's still pretty well crushed to about that thick altogether. Eh, probably less than that even, probably more like that. It's always fun to take random things like that, stick them in the crusher, see what happens. There's a big auction coming up in a couple days, but it's online only. 
and I tried to get permission to get in to see the place beforehand and maybe make a video walking around bunches of cool old hearses and flower cars and stuff out of the 50s and 60s and early 70s there's a Pontiac Safari two-door wagon there's a 56 Chevy Nomad in there I mean there's some pretty cool stuff in there it's all been sitting for years though it's all out in the trees and in the grass and buried in the dirt would have made a really cool video but unfortunately they won't give me permission to get in and see the stuff it's a really weird auction company it's online only and it ends in a couple days and you have to pick everything you buy up the next day between 12 and 6 p.m. you have a six hour window to pick up anything you buy and there's bunches of old tractors and it, it would just be a nightmare to get in there and get your stuff out they won't let you look at the stuff in person they've just got a few really horrible pictures they've taken of it and unfortunately it looks like I'm not gonna be able to make a video of that but there are two other auctions actually three now that I think about it coming up over the next couple months one of those auctions has something I really 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 want to buy so I'm gonna be going to that auction with my trailer it's a long long drive actually all of these auctions are very long drives so I'm not gonna be buying bunches of stuff at them but there's at least one vehicle at each of them that I want to buy so I guess we'll wait for that and see what happens there beyond that who knows what's gonna happen next so stay tuned if you haven't subscribed please subscribe that way you can be on top of whatever's coming up next you get to see all the cool things because I get into some pretty cool stuff sometimes I've got a bunch of ideas written down so as I get time I'll film those it's starting to warm up a little bit so hopefully sometime in the relatively near future I'll finally be able to go through those semi trailers I know you guys have really been wanting to know what's in those and I have too I just didn't feel like digging in them when it's freezing cold outside so with that let me know what your favorite part of this video was and remember to get out there and find an adventure We'll see you on the next one.